Christian Matthew was recently picked by the Arizona Cardinals in the 2022 NFL Draft, but prior to that, he wasn't exactly certain that he wanted to pursue a career in football. He said as much in an interview this past week while he reminisced about the path he's trodden to get here. We'll be covering that and more in today's video. First up, Matthew thinks back. After the Arizona Cardinals had their first rookie minicamp with Christian Matthew, the young 25-year-old had some interesting insight to give fans last Friday. Matthew told a Cardinal reporter that when he'd arrived at the Dignity Health Training Center, he had to take a moment when he saw the team's bird head logo on the building. He felt like it was surreal being there. It isn't just the fact that he finally made it to the NFL after about a decade playing football at a high school level, then in college, or the fact that the Cardinals saw his worth. That feeling of surrealism came from the thought that he might never have made it there because of his own choices. Next, we have a rocky road to the big leagues. Matthew began his career in college football with hopes of making it to the NFL later on. Committing to play with the Georgia Southern Eagles team right after high school, unfortunately, there were various issues ranging from coaching changes to eligibility concerns that led to him transferring over to Samford University, where he played with the Bulldogs. We're not sure if similar problems arose there, but something might have been lacking. We're saying this because Matthew, then just 22 years old, transferred once again to Valdosta State University. While at Valdosta, he completed his final two years of undergraduate studies and played for their college football team, the Blazers, as well. The transfer to the Blazers happened in 2020, and as we all know, that year was a rough time for everyone and everything. College football wasn't exempt from the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, and schedules were disrupted in the wake of scores of cancellations. Valdosta State was hit particularly hard by the pandemic. Most other NCAA teams managed to salvage some of the 2020 football season, but Valdosta had to deal with the cancellation of all their team's games. That left Matthew without a way to direct his passion for the sport, and the young football player had to start thinking about whether it was feasible or worth pursuing football after college after all. And now for a re-evaluation and an intervention, college is a difficult time for many. It's a period where you start to become more independent and really think about what direction you want to take your life in. You begin to reevaluate what's important and what's going to help you live a comfortable life. This process was particularly hard for new seniors and graduates in 2020 because of the pandemic. With people losing their jobs, major events being disrupted, and an overall sense that things are never going to be the same, many felt the need to take a step back and be more pragmatic about their futures. Matthew was one of those people. The Florida native was studying for a career in management and logistics as part of his undergraduate program, and he had been offered a job at a local Walmart as a store director. The offer was amazing for a fresh graduate, and Matthew knew that it was a great opportunity to start his management career off that not many had the chance of getting. He might have been on a fast track to his own franchise if it wasn't for voices that weren't his own. Before he could make the decision, his family and friends sat him down to give him advice that resonated with him. In their opinion, he could always find another managerial position and come back later. But a shot at the NFL isn't something that comes that often. For them, Matthew had to at least try to make it to the big leagues before he settled down in an office. He was quite close to joining that Walmart team. But this intervention is what tipped it in favor of the NFL. Matthew then understood that they were right. A chance at being a pro athlete in the NFL comes with a much smaller window than being a manager at a Walmart. And so it was that Christian Matthew returned to college football in 2021 with a renewed drive to show that he was worthy of an NFL draft. When the 2021 season finally ended, he had 37 total tackles, 26 solo stops, one interception, and one blocked kick. It showed that he was a young talent to watch out for, and the Cardinals took heed of it. So what's next for Matthew? Christian Matthew has already made somewhat of a mark in the football history as small as it may be. He's the sixth player ever to have been drafted from Bulldosta State University and the fourth Division II player to be selected this year. He was also drafted on the third day of this year's NFL Draft, which is definitely an achievement. 
but where will his journey take him next? Well, getting drafted is just the first step taken in the NFL. Matthew still has a ways to go before he's actually touching shoulders with the pros in the green. He's got to jump some major hurdles in order to make it to the Cardinals' 53-man roster. However, considering that he was seriously thinking about ending his career in football at college, after the hardships he's had to face, just getting to this point is incredible. Matthew knows it too, and closing off his interview said that the draft call had definitely changed his life. Time for some other news, starting with when Cardinals tweet backfired. Last week, the Arizona Cardinals' official Twitter account posted images of the team's new tight end, Trey McBride, in the team's uniform. The images were captioned, Can get used to this, with a fire emoji. Unfortunately for the Cardinals, what was supposed to be a cheeky way of parading their new draft turned into something many might not have expected, and many more still might have seen coming. You see, fans of the Arizona team have been calling for an overhaul to the team's uniform for years, and they do so at any chance they get. The situation had more fuel thrown onto it when this year the Cardinals team outfit was ranked 32 in the NFL. Thing is, there are only 32 teams. Many criticized the fact that the outfits were too simple, while others believed that a return to even simpler uniforms could be to their benefit. One thing that many seem to agree on is that the red piping on their otherwise all-white away uniforms is a sore sight. There are many more criticisms that have been thrown their way, but that's the gist of why things took a turn for the team on Twitter. What followed their lighthearted tweet was a never-ending barrage of memes, all captioned as the original images were, but with a twist, calling for the team to get used to new uniforms. It's a funny situation for Cardinals fans, but those that truly want to see the uniform change probably have more intense emotions associated with their meme tweets. So, can Thomas and Sanders fill in for Jones? Both Cameron Thomas and Majai Sanders were recently picked in the third round of the NFL draft by the Cardinals. The hope is that they may be able to fill in for outside linebacker Chandler Jones, who recently parted ways from the team in order to become a free agent in Las Vegas. It's uncertain if they'll be able to take up his mantle, but there are some things that can help us gauge which would be a better fit. To Sanders' credit, he's the closest to Jones' actual build, clocking in at 248 pounds and standing at 6 foot 5. However, Sanders himself doesn't believe that his game can be compared to Jones. Instead, Sanders actually thinks he might be better compared to Hassan Reddick, whom he believes to be a great pass rusher, and whose shoes he'd actually liked to fill. When it comes to Cameron Thomas, we can't really compare his physique to Jones's. He weighs in at 267 pounds, with a height of 6 foot 4 inches. He doesn't wish to be compared to Jones either, having instead modeled himself after new teammate J.J. Watt. Despite playing defensive in college, Cameron doesn't think it's going to be too much of a challenge to stand up in the end. Only time will tell if these newcomers can fill the void that Jones is leaving behind. Finally, the Cardinals, a most overrated team. According to a recent list of teams that are the most overrated entering the 2022 season made by Bleacher Report, the Arizona Cardinals is one of them, leading the list. Ian Wharton attributed this to the fact that they have the 14th highest odds to win the Super Bowl, despite their last season falling apart after a 10-2 record. The reason for them leading this list was also because they've gotten quite top-heavy since this season's draft began, and they don't have enough players on the benches to compensate in case of injuries. Only time will tell if Wharton's analysis holds weight. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think Christian Matthew will make it into the Cardinals roster? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.